Hi, capacities and skills. Okay, so we're going to look at two exercises with my athlete, who's a world-class uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competitor. Uh, the first exercise we're going to look at is uh, walking on hands, which is a bit of a CrossFit popular exercise at the moment, but also very popular with Jiu-Jitsu training. Um, Jiu-Jitsu, the, the, the uh, isometric strength in the shoulders and forearms used very much in grappling. So let's have a look at the, uh, the technical model, first of all. Um, so this is taken from a gymnast, so we can see that a perfect handstand, ready to walk on a hands position, is external rotation of the shoulder, lumbar and thoracic extension, lengthening of the glutes and the sacrum, and hamstring extension. So in consideration of this, we'll now look at a video example of my athlete uh, attempting the same movements. Okay. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the still of my athlete's position. The main things to notice are it has the skill but not the capacity to extend in the, the glutes and the hamstring and there's hyperextension of the back causing a very unstable position. So my athlete starts the movement. Uh, we'll slow this down. <clears throat> so get into the uh, starting position. Straight away, very much used to using the legs as a means of balance rather than using uh, thoracic extension, um, lumbar extension, hamstring extension, tightening of the glutes. So uh, it's very much akin to a lot of CrossFit walking on hands movements. The legs are doing a lot of work to control balance. But it's unstable. You can see uh, a lot of hip rotation going along. <clears throat> okay. Um, pretty strong in the external rotation of the shoulder. But what we need to correct to get the skill right is the capacity to actually straighten out the, uh, the legs so we can create a more stable position and try and get rid of this hyperextension of uh, the thoracic and uh, lumbar back. See when my athlete falls, he's very used to tumbling from jiu-jitsu. Uh, normally I think I'd be pretty worried about uh, somebody falling into this position but he does have the, uh, the skill and the capacity to fall very safely. Okay, so to improve uh, this uh, capacity, let's look at the exercise intervention I did. Now, to make note here, the athlete is extremely mobile. Jiu-Jitsu demands a lot of mobility, so we worked on balance instead. Um, and the, the balance exercise we did were wall-based um, handstands to, to feel the, uh, the extension of the thoracic uh, lumbar vertebrae, the hip, to get used to that balance point and then take it to the, uh, the floor position. Oh, again, again, again. Good, 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 good. Go straight, 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 straight. Very good, very good, very good, very good. So slowing the movement down. We see, yep, we've still got quite a bit of uh, hyperextension in the, the lower back thoracic uh, lower vertebrae. Um, you know, as I say in jiu-jitsu, they are sometimes hypermobile due to the amount of sport. But what we've achieved is the extension in the hamstring, the glute, the hip, um, still slight rotation in the hip, but uh, generally, as we see when the athlete uh, walks along, got a much more stable position. <coughs> Okay, so just trying to find his balance here. To say it's particularly more of a balance uh, capacity rather than the skill. Here we go. It's a much better position, a lot more stable. Um, so you know we made progress. So the next move concerns the box jump, where we had the uh, capacity, but not the skill. Do two more for us. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's have a look at uh, the athlete performing this. So the issue is um, not the capacity to do the jump, but it's the skill in actually performing the jump. So what the athlete is a little bit conscious of is, is colliding with the box, uh, and they also haven't really got the, the, the skill when we started doing these of uh, getting a good impulse, then going into a triple extension to drive up with both feet, uh, instead of sort of stepping into the movement, which is um, you know, a lack of skill to be able to, to, to generate the, uh, the power we need to perform the box job correctly. So we worked on uh, lower boxes to build up to the correct skill. Stance, just going straight. Big impulse power drive up, stand up straight at the hip. Much better, take your time. Good. Okay.